Nextivity Artists. It's Tuesday and this is going to be our last one together. We're going to be painting and drawing ducks today. Ducks are so great and I've seen a lot of baby ducks around lately. Sometimes I walk to the river and I see mother ducks with their little broods tripping along the shore and it's just so fun to watch the ducklings. some real simple ducks first. We're going to draw them and then we're going to look at a painting by the Impressionist artist Bert Morisot. She painted two women in a boat in the summertime and in the background you can see some little ducks swimming and we're going to paint ducks modeled after her Impressionist style ducks. And we'll talk more about that later. First, you just need a pencil and paper and we'll draw our cartoon duck. So to draw our duck, we are gonna start with an egg because all ducks come from an egg, don't they? So we're gonna make an egg shape. Actually, it's more like an oval. Right here, it's kind of, kind of a slanted oval, just like that. And then, we're going to make another oval, but smaller up here. Hmm. Doesn't look like a duck yet, but it will. Because now we're going to connect this oval to this oval with a neck. So first we'll start by putting our pencil right here on the, the end of this oval and then making a curved line that swoops down and attaches to the bottom oval. And then we'll make a parallel line that starts about an inch over from that one and goes down to the front of that oval. Oh, I think it's starting, this could be a dinosaur, it could be a duck, it could be a lot of things. This is a good way to start a lot of different animals. Let's give him some tail feathers. Right here, we're gonna make a line that swoops up like that. And another line that swoops up like that. So there are two parallel lines that curve. Then we'll put our pencil on the tip of this line and we'll swoop down. Do the same thing here, swoop down. It's got a little tail. And how about a beak? I bet you can all make a triangle. So we're gonna make a triangle shape that starts just about here, just about in the middle of this oval here. It goes down and then comes back right there, right to where the neck meets the chin. It is really looking like a duck now. He needs a wing. So let's put a line right there. Kind of looks like a frown. And then another line that starts here and curves around and meets that frown like that. It almost looks like a lemon, but I didn't, I didn't draw it all the way around. And now we can add some feathers. We'll just do some curved lines like that, and then maybe however you want your feathers to look. I think he could, he could be swimming in the water. You could just do this and have him swimming in the water, but we're gonna give him some feet. So we're gonna make two parallel lines diagonally going forward and two going back. Then his foot is kind of a kind of a rectangular shape. So we're just going to draw a rectangle on the end of each of those parallel lines. And then you can put little webbed toes if you want. Like that, so easy. 
The last thing he needs is an eye. So you can make a big eye or a, you could just make a little tiny eye like that. Or you could make a bigger eye, whatever you want to do. And let's, let's go like that to make him look more like an actual beak. All right, so now we have some erasing to do. We're going to erase this line here and this line here that connects his neck to his head and his body. Although we might want to have a little bit of his chin, just a little bit showing there. And we're going to erase this line here that goes through his beak and I'm going to make that a little more, a little less like a triangle, like kind of round out this bottom part and maybe round that out a little bit so it's not so pointy. There we go. And there, oh, and the tail, we want to erase these lines here where his tail connects to his body. And these little lines here by his toes. And we could go like that. And there you have a duck. You could color him any color you want. Happy little duck. I suppose he could be swimming, couldn't he? He could be walking along or he could be swimming. It's up to you how you want to place him. Fun cartoon duck. So Bert Morisseau sounds like a boy's name, but it's actually a girl's name. Bert was a woman and she lived in France a long time ago and she painted with impressionists like Monet. Well, she liked to paint things kind of loosely. She didn't like it to look like a photograph. She liked it to look like a painting. And that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna paint our ducks, but we're gonna paint them very loosely with big brush strokes. So what you're gonna need is some thick paper. I use watercolor paper. If you don't have that, just use whatever you have. And probably a good sized paintbrush and maybe maybe a smaller paintbrush too if you have one and some paints I'm just using craft acrylic paints for mine they don't have to be expensive fancy paints we're just doing this for fun we're not gonna take it to a museum and hang it on the wall so you don't need really expensive paints uh, I think you're probably gonna want just about every color I have blue I have red I have yellow I have, well, you don't really need orange. If you have blue and if you have yellow and red, you can make orange. I have green and a little black and some white. So basically you're gonna need the primary colors, red, yellow, and blue, and black and white. And you can make all the other colors from that, but it's easier if you have some green and some orange on hand. So get your paint brushes ready and we will paint our ducks. So the first thing we want to do is sketch our ducks. We're just going to lightly sketch them. I think I'm going to put the first duck's head right about here. So I'm just going to start with a little rainbow shape, just like that. And then his neck is shorter than the one that we drew. It goes, curves in a little bit and then curves up. And there's his back, it's just a little hump. So we just have this curve, it looks like a two, number two, and then it curves around. And then we'll give him a little triangle shaped beak here. And his chin comes in and then his chest puffs out a little bit. So let's just do that much for him. And there's a duck swimming beside him whose head is right about here. So another little kind of a rainbow, half circle. Same thing, his neck kind of curves in a little bit like a number two. And then back up, kind of like a tilted two. And then give him 
neck that curves in and then his chest kind of poofs out a little bit and a little tail like that. I'll give this one a little tail too. Now the third duck in the picture is so loosely painted you can hardly tell it's a duck. It looks more like a smudge. So he's, but he's kind of positioned over here. We're just gonna loosely, kind of real loosely make a little duck shape there. Maybe like that. Okay, so we have our ducks. That's all we need to draw. The rest is going to be paint. So I'm gonna take a large paintbrush and I'm going to start with blue. So I'm going to take my blue and put some on my foil. See my paint palette? I did an earlier project so it's already kind of covered in paint. And then I'm going to make strokes that look like water. And I want my strokes to all be going the same direction like this. The ducks are swimming on the water and the water goes all the way up to the top. We don't see the sky in this picture. We just, we're looking kind of down at the ducks and we see them in the middle of the pond. So we see them swimming in the water, just surrounded by water. All my strokes are kind of going the same way, the way that the water is flowing. Water is flowing, it's a nice calm day in the summertime. I don't want to paint on my ducks. I'm just painting around them, but I'm not going around them like this. I'm doing strokes of water that all go in the same direction. Just try not to get so close that I paint on top of my ducks. And I'm not painting everything this blue because I'm going to switch colors. So now I'm going to take some green I don't really need to rinse my brush because all the paint's gonna kind of mix together. I'm gonna take some green and a tiny bit of white. So to make, actually I think I'll add a little yellow too to make kind of a, a light springy green. So that's the color I have. I'm gonna put some of that around in my water. Some white and green and a little tiny bit of yellow mixed together. I'm gonna Fill in some of the spots that are still kind of white. And I think I'll get some more blue on my brush too. I'm just kind of going back and forth between the blue and the green to fill in those spaces. Hmm. I think now I'm going to do some light blue. So I'm going to clean my brush. I'm just going to rinse it in my jar of water here. And then I'm going to dab it on my napkins or paper towels. And I'm going to mix some white with my blue to get a light blue. And I'm going to cover up some more of those places where the white paper is still shining through, showing through, I should say. I need some more paint. Maybe a little more white. All my brush strokes are still going in the same direction the direction that the water would be flowing. Oops, I got a little green in that one. Okay, I need to get a little more right here. Gotta get some of that water. Painted. Now let's just take straight white. I need some more white, running out of white. Put some white on my tin foil palette. And I didn't clean my brush. I'm just gonna leave the blue on that was on. I'm gonna put some, 
some white here and there to brighten up the water and make it kind of seem like light is shining on it. Okay, I think that's good. So now you can clean your brush really good or you can get a completely new brush because we're going to do the, the ducks and we want white paint to start with. So I'm just going to take white paint. I'm going to paint both the ducks white. Can't really see it, can you? But we're going to blend another color into the white. So we've got to have the white as a base to blend the other. Oops. Okay, well that's okay because we're going to be doing that anyway. We're going to take a little blue on our brush and we're going to add some shadows under the chin of the duck. See, I'm just barely, it's just a tiny bit of blue mixed with the white. Creates that kind of shadow around the duck. And if I put a shadow here, then that this duck's head will show up better than if there's nothing behind him but white. So that's why we want that there. But we'll put a little bit under his chin and his chest too. Kind of blend it in softly, maybe a little bit down here where his body is resting on the water. I think I need some more water right there. So I'm gonna get some more blue and green and put some more water right there. That's good. All right, what next? Hmm, I think I'm going to get a little bit of red and yellow and make some reddish orange. Or you could just use your straight orange if you want. And I'm going to paint my duck's bill. And this duck kind of has the red up on his face and around his eye that some ducks do. Kind of a reddish orange color goes onto his face. But we're just painting them loosely because this is impressionism. So just like that, you can just do that. It doesn't have to be very, very um, detailed. And then I'm gonna put some yellow on top of his beak to make it look kind of like maybe the sun is shining on him. Just on the top part, just put it right on top there. Maybe a little more there. And how about a little bit of yellow? Well, we have the yellow on our brush. A little bit of yellow on his back, maybe, to show that the sun is shining down, glistening off his back. Hmm, I think that's pretty good. These are loosely painted impressionist ducks. Let's see, what else do we want to do? I think we want to go ahead and get some black on our brush now and do the black duck in the background. He's kind of an accent, he's a contrast. He gives our white ducks a nice dark background so they kind of pop out more. And notice I'm when I do the ducks, when I paint the ducks, I'm moving my brush in the direction that the duck's feathers would kind of grow. And that duck needs a little bit of white. He's a little too dark. So I'm just gonna put a little white here and there. And I guess I'll give him a little bit of a beak there, but I don't want him to be too pronounced because he's supposed to be kind of just in the background as an accent. And then I'm noticing that Bert Morisseau, she put a little bit of a, a little bit of a black kind of spot here. Almost looks like this duck is wearing a hat. Kind of a little top hat, actually. Kind of looks like he's wearing a little top hat. But I think it's actually uh, maybe a spot on the duck behind him. Maybe that duck has a black spot on it. And then once again, it, it creates contrast between the ducks. And let's put just a little bit of gray. I took a little, put a tiny bit of black on my brush with the white and I'm just gonna do a little bit of 
on the tail here and on the back of the head. Maybe there. And maybe a little bit right here. Oh, that's looking good. Hmm. So contrast is important in a painting. And I feel like a little more dark blue would be good in our painting. Maybe even a little dark purple. So I'm going to add just a touch of red to some blue. And I'm going to put it down here. Maybe a little more red. That's not really quite purple, is it? I'm going to put a little purple down here under my ducks in the water to kind of make it look like shadow, kind of. And maybe just a little bit here and there. Okay, I think that's pretty good. There might be, I got a little bit too much purple on my duck's neck, so I'm just gonna take a little bit of this white with a tiny bit of blue and fix that right there. But I think that's pretty good. Looks like if those are some pretty good impressionist style ducks. Now, you might be looking at your picture and going, this doesn't look very good, but if you put it up on the mantle or on a bookshelf far away and stand back and look at it, I bet you'll like it better. They kind of look good from a distance. So good job, try it out. So this is a painting I did of these ducks last week. And this is the one that I did today. And they're similar, but they're not exactly the same. It's interesting how you can paint the same thing more than once and it comes out looking different each time. But that's a great way to practice. If there's an artist whose work you admire, you can practice copying their work or doing something very similar to them and you'll learn something new every time. So thanks for joining in. I hope you have a great summer and keep on creating art. I hope that video inspired you to be creative Maxtivity is a nonprofit whose mission is to provide space, tools, supplies, education, and classes uh, for people to help maximize their creativity. If that was valuable to you and you want to continue to support art, community, a space to be creative for all, then you can go ahead and uh, make a donation you can visit our website at maxtivitycreative.space and give under Donate and Share. You can also like us on Facebook or follow us on Instagram under iMaxtivity. We have more video videos under Maxtivity here on YouTube. And I just appreciate anything that you can do to engage families, community, and children in exploring more opportunities to be creative. Thank you.